Shiro is a feminine hygiene company that is dedicated to providing women with worldwide access to products that are sustainable, effective, and safe. Conventional pads are made out of synthetic petroleum-based materials. They are either bulky and uncomfortable for the user to wear. Upon disposal, result in a tremendous amount of non-biodegradable waste. The Shiro pad completely degrades into biomass within 45 days to six months of disposal. Shiro has the advantage of making the pad very slim and comfortable because our super absorbent polymer is able to absorb a lot of menstrual fluid. The Shiro hot melt adhesive is the first biodegradable hot melt adhesive on the market. A hot melt adhesive is an adhesive applied in a molten state and instantly cures to enable high-speed manufacturing processes. The market for menstrual pads is estimated at $18 billion globally, and it's growing at 3% a year. Shiro will sell directly to consumers in the United States and will form marketing and distribution partnerships internationally. I was born in Nepal. Nepal has a lot of menstruation taboos. Chaupadi is a tradition in which women are isolated during menstruation. Because of traditions like Chaupadi, we lose young women's lives. I believe providing proper access to feminine hygiene products as well as menstruation awareness could help solve this issue. This is exactly what Shiro plans to do. Shiro has two global partners that are going to assist in manufacturing and in testing the hot melt adhesive on full-scale manufacturing equipment. Shiro's biodegradable hot melt adhesive and superabsorbent polymer can also have applications in other markets such as baby diapers, incontinence products, healthcare. Shiro has surveyed and interviewed over 350 women who want feminine hygiene products that are effective, safe, comfortable, and sustainable. Millennials are willing to pay more for sustainable products. When a consumer can use their money to buy products that meet their values, whether that's sustainability or supporting women-led enterprises or helping girls and women in the developing world, that's empowering.